back. Join Bluey on a dreamy nighttime adventure. Bluey, Bingo, Mum and Dad are playing pop up croc. Again, says Bluey when the game ends. No, that's it. Bad time, Mum's reply. No, not fair. Bluey doesn't want to go to bed. All right, says Dad, following Bluey and Bingo outside. Say good night to the animals. Bingo waves. Night kangaroos. Night bilbies. Night fruit bats. Says Dad. No, fruit bats don't sleep at night. They are nocturnal. Explained Bingo. You mean they don't need to go to bed now? Asked Bluey. No, but you do. Says Dad. Bluey wishes she was a fruit bat, but fruit bats don't get to play a rocket ship. Dad zooms Bluey and Bingo upstairs to the bathroom. I don't need a shower, complains Bluey. Yeah, you do. You grow up, says Dad. Not fair. I bet fruit bats don't have to have showers, says Bluey. But fruit bats don't get to play penguins. Look at me, Mom," says Bluey. "Yay!" And they don't get to play the story game. Dad starts reading. She opened the door, but out jump a huge, hairy. <coughs> Wake up! The kids squeal. Spider! Dad yells. They laugh and the mom comes in and kisses them good night. Not fair. Bluey wants to be a fruit bat, not go to bat. Bluey sneaks downstairs and cheekily asks mom if she can stay up. Dad is asleep on the floor, dreaming about playing touch footy. He doesn't get to play much anymore. Mom explains. Why doesn't he get to play it for real life? Asks Bluey. He's busy, sweetheart, working and looking after you too. That doesn't seem very fair. Bluey has an idea. If Dad dreams about Fudi, maybe she can dream about being a fruit bat. She runs back up to bat. Bluey closes her eyes, and all of a sudden, she's soaring high above the house, flapping her arms like a fruit bat. She flies past bedroom windows and sees Mackenzie fall asleep. She gets massively full, eating lots of fruit. Then Bluey hears a familiar voice in the distance. Yes, Matt. It is Dad playing footy with his mates. Hey, Dad! Yells Bluey. Hey, Bluey! You are a fruit bat, says Dad, waving. How is it? It's great, says Bluey. You get to eat a lot of fruit. It looks like Dad is having a lot of fun playing footy. No wonder he misses it. It's time to head home. When Bluey wakes up the next morning, she thinks about that. It doesn't seem fair that he doesn't get to play footy for real life, but she's never heard him whinge about it, not even once. I had the most amazing dream, Bluey says, walking into the kitchen for breakfast. Dad's doing sits up, so she is ready for when he plays footy again one day. Bluey has something to tell him. Thanks for looking after us, Dad. Bluey says, giving him a hug. You are welcome. And then the end.